Shabbat Shalom from Temple Concord. Right now I'm sitting behind the wheel because as I speak, I'm actually returning from a conference in Baltimore. But it happens that our Torah portion actually fits with the idea of being on a journey. Our Torah portion this week is Mishpatim, and it's filled with laws. Laws about a thousand different subjects. And you look at it and say, well, what do we need all these rules for? And the truth is, those rules give us a roadmap of how to live our lives better. It's sort of like getting in the car to head someplace and not having any idea where you're going. We know, even in this case, we know we're going to the promised land, but we don't know how to get there. We don't know where the gas stations are. We don't know anything else. And so Mishpatim comes in and fills in the blanks and says, you need to do this and you need to do that. You need to turn the lights on or the windshield wipers on or you need to check the, the directions this way or that way. And it gives us the help we need, the assistance we need, so that we can get to the journey that we're seeking. I hope you'll come and join us for Shabbat services. Friday night services are at 7.30. It's the first Friday of the month. At 6 o'clock we have a Tat Shabbat. Saturday morning, of course, we have Torah study at 10, text study at 9, and services at 11. On Sunday morning, the 7th, we welcome Lori Tenenbaum, who is the head of school at the Syracuse Hebrew Day School. She'll be talking about Jewish education and elementary education and the importance of day schools. And on Tuesday evening, our rescheduled uh, diaspora dinner at China Road will take place. Uh, we'll meet up at China Road at 6.30 p.m. and study about the Jews of China and enjoy a good dinner. For now, I wish you safe driving, of course, in the wintertime, but also the sense of roadmap, the sense of directions, or if you can remember back to the old times, the sense of having a triptych that Torah can provide for us. It can help us in the mitzvot and the commandments figure out how to get where we want to go. It can give us the directions and show us the stops along the way and teach us so that we can get to where our journey will lead us in a better position than we started. Shabbat shalom for now. Look forward to seeing you at the temple.